Boom. Welcome back guys. In today's video, I have got something super special for you. We're gonna be doing a little bit of comparison. It's some texturizing techniques. We're gonna be doing one side one way, one side another way. It's gonna be awesome. If you're ever concerned about removing weight, just making the client and or yourself just have better hair, today's video is gonna be awesome. Stay tuned, it's coming right up. These are the tools we're gonna to be using. So on one side, you know, of course we're gonna be using the comb on both sides, but we're gonna be using more of a blunt scissor um, to help kind of remove that weight. And then the opposite side, we're gonna be using either this razor and or this razor. The difference between the two is this has got a guard. And so if you're actually gonna be using a feather razor, you're not gonna cut yourself. Um, if you're gonna be using a straight razor, you can also do that as well but I would probably recommend, uh, if you've never used one of these before, definitely test this out on a mannequin beforehand. Um, we're gonna go ahead and have links below, um, just kind of show you guys uh, what and how, why we use those. So let's get into it, guys. Before we get started, I wanna kind of show you guys really what we're working on. So let's go ahead and use this camera. You guys can kind of see. We basically have got a bob length right through here. There's no texturizing in here. I have just cut this completely blunt across the bottom. And so if we were going to blow dry this, one of the things that has a tendency to happen is that if you don't remove any sort of weight from something like this, is that you're going to have this triangle look. So a lot of this weight is gonna build up through here because you're cutting this at one length down through the bottom. And so what has a tendency to happen is you know, you'll get like that weight at the bottom. So if you've got kind of like a finer textured hair, cutting your hair blunt would be probably most likely ideal because you want that hair to be really thick and full. A lot of times people have medium to thicker coarse hair. If you cut that blunt, you know, it's gonna look very amateur. And so you want to remove some weight to get it to lay super seamless or to really cup in nice around the face. That's what I'm gonna show you today. So if that's what you're interested in, stick around, it's gonna be awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. The difference between you know, cutting hair with a razor versus cutting hair with a scissor. Now, a lot of times people are really comfortable with a razor and some people are not. Now, I warn you guys, if you're not really comfortable cutting with a razor, I would suggest practicing on a mannequin head first. You know, that is something that I have put in a lot of time and practice, practicing my craft over the years. And so I just wanna make sure guys, like if you're gonna do this on yourself, um, you know, take it really light first. Don't go in super aggressive. We're kind of just doing a rough little part down the center. The left side right through here is gonna be done with a razor. The right side, we're gonna be doing that with a scissor. So one of the things is that what I wanna do is when I go in with a razor, I'm going to be cutting like almost kind of like inside each portion. So I'm gonna be cutting on a very, on a vertical plane and we're gonna be cutting from section to section. When I go in with a scissor, I'm gonna be cutting over the top. So now what I mean by this is that we're gonna divide this into two. Now I want to take this hair, now I'm gonna come in and I'm going to lightly hit this one side, just like that. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna come over here on this side and I'm gonna lightly hit this side right over here. Now, what you're gonna see is that this hair is gonna go from like short to long this way, okay? Now, take this out and you're gonna start to see how you're kind of creating a little bit more of a hole right through this area. I say hole in like a relative terms, meaning that you're creating just more hair that kind of starts to separate through here. And so you'll get a nice amount of separation through here. I'm gonna take this right up against the hairline right through here, and I'm just gonna lightly skim this right through there, just like that. Take this one right next to it, and then lightly hit it on this side. 
And so no matter what, you're just lightly starting to see. And the cool thing about this is that if this had any wave and curl in here, you would start to see this wave in there. Now removing some of that weight is gonna make it so the hair doesn't bulbous right down through here. Let's take another section and I'm going to just take this just like this, okay? And like the, the, what, one of the questions I usually get is like, how far do you go from the root? Well, um, I usually have a tendency to go about, I would say about an inch and a half from the root, okay? Then I'm gonna take another section right through there. This will go short to long, just like that, okay? Just like that. And then I'm gonna hit this section over through here. And this section is a little over about an inch wide, just like right, right through there. So come out, hit this hair just like that. Come out, hit this hair out through there. Then take another one. I'm not gonna go right up against the hairline, just like that. And the reason for that is usually because if somebody wants to pull back their hair, I don't wanna have like super short hair right up against their hairline. So keep that in mind. And you can really kind of start to see how some of this hair is starting to kind of wave through there. Okay guys, so now I'm actually gonna use straight edge razor. Okay, again, you can use whatever you like, whether it's gonna be the feather razor or straight edge razor, it doesn't matter. Now that I'm actually right up here on top, I wanna make sure that I'm not gonna actually go in super close like I did before. You know, and you really wanna put your razor like parallel to the hair, okay? And I'm just lightly kind of skimming right over the top, okay? Now, same thing, when I come over here on this side, I'm not coming in at an angle like this, I'm actually coming in and I'm lightly setting it on there and then I'm just using a little bit of pressure and then I'm just cutting right into that, okay? So again, you have to make sure if you are gonna be using a straight edge razor, you wanna come about it in a very soft way. And so same thing, parallel. So you can see this angle right through here. And so, and then I just lightly start to kind of touch it just like that. And it's almost kind of parallel. And we're just taking off just a little bit. We're not going bananas with it. You know, you don't wanna go crazy with something like this. Until you get really super comfortable with it, then you can start to do that. But guys, if this is your first time using a razor, you know, you, you, you don't wanna start going in and just destroying the texture of the hair. Then I'm gonna leave a little bit of this hairline out. Okay, that's super important. All right, guys, so now what we wanna do, let's go ahead and do the opposite side and then we're gonna dry both of those and kind of see how they look. So let's go ahead and do the scissor side. So, so coming in with like the straight hair, instead of going side to side now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over the top and we're gonna skim over this specific area, okay? And so we're gonna come in and we're just gonna kind of skim right over, right over the top, just like that. Yeah, the one thing I really want you guys to notice is that when we were doing this with a razor, you can really start to see where that, that hair goes from like short to long from side to side. But what I want to point out is, let me point out here, is that now you're like going to be going from like short to long here, short to long here, and then short to long there. And so you create this collapsing on the inside as the hair starts to collapse this way instead of having it collapse the opposite way. So again, guys, if you're ever really thinking about texturizing people's hair and you really just kind of want to remove some of that bulk, you know, this is two different ways on how to approach this, whether you're doing straight, uh, wavy hair, um, curly hair, long hair, short hair, you know, this can be utilized in so many different ways. I actually did, I did a mullet in the salon. I don't know if you saw that. I'm gonna go ahead and link that video 
on this girl. I did a technique like this as well. So, you know, I've done this before. And again, you, ha you can approach this in many, 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 many different ways. And again, the same kind of concept. I'm usually going about an inch and a half to two inches away from the scalp, especially underneath the hair. Like the closer I get to go to the top, I'm gonna to be doing that same thing. I'm actually gonna be going a little bit further away from the scalp so I don't ensue shorter hair right down through that area. So let's go ahead and do this top portion here. And I'm actually cutting on the outside of my fingers, guys. And I can find that I can actually control the hair a lot better if I do that. So again, you have to find whatever's comfortable for you. When I'm doing a technique like this, and I'm just talking with my scissors. I'm just talking like, yo, hey, what's up, girl? How you doing today? Yo, 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 yeah, how you doing, girl? Take this next section down, just like so. And then I'm gonna start to kind of work this and you can really, what again, I really want, you, want to show you guys, right? You can really start to see that, that short to long that is happening through there, right? That short to long here, that short to long there. And then again, we're gonna do that same thing right up through here. And I'm gonna come up a little bit further, not as short at that root area. You can go shorter. I have done that before. It looks amazing, by the way. I'm just talking with the scissors. Just like so. Guys, if you guys are digging this, let me know, man. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so as we're even, you know, before we even start to dry, you're gonna kind of start to see kind of really how this texture is starting to lay right through here. You know, you've still got some, some bulk like down through the bottom. We didn't completely like thrash it out, but what we're gonna do now is let's go ahead and dry it. We're gonna be drying it with the same brush on both sides so you can start to see the difference between the two. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right guys, so as you can see, this is gonna be, again, this is our razor side, this is gonna be our scissor side right through here. Now, they both look very similar, but there's also gonna be some things that are very, very different about them as well. So as I kind of start to play with it, let's go ahead and talk about this side here really, really quick. Now, again, so as we start to kind of look at this, you can kind of start to see how this, again, this was all one length, right? All one length, it all hit down to here. Now, as you kind of cut through this side, you can start to see because these layers now are a little bit shorter right up on top. And this goes from like, like short, like short to long, short to long, short to long, short to long. And so the thing you're gonna see about this and why you would wanna use this technique is if you're probably wanting a little bit more volume because that volume was, is gonna go again from that short to long. And so you're gonna have that short hair underneath that's gonna create a little bit more lift. That's why you would use this side, okay? Now let's talk about this side and the razor. Now again, so this side is gonna be a little bit different. Now how this lays is everything goes from like short to long sideways, okay? Now this particular layering technique is gonna be a lot more invisible, okay? Now you're not gonna see it so much on the surface because it's side to side. So that's the cool thing about this. And if you froth this up and you kind of move this around, you can see a little bit in there, but this is gonna be a more invisible layer. Now, as I turn this and we can like have this straight forward, you can see this straight on as this is, again, this looks more one length through here, again, because it's more invisible. This over through here looks a lot more layered because it is, okay? Both are just texturizing techniques. 
Now, that's the cool thing about this is that you can up your game. And I know there's a lot of hairdressers not doing this, guys. So if you're ever in Salt Lake City, you come see me. I'm gonna rock you out, all right? Lunatic Fringe Salon, Salt Lake City, South Temple location. I'd love to do your hair. Again, but this is not an advertisement for me. I'm just showing you how cool your hair can be. Now look at this, look how cool this is. Now if I take this and I froth this up like this, you get a ton of volume because again, there's short hair in here that's gonna kind of expand that up. Look how nice this shape lays in at the bottom. Before this traditionally would have been super heavy down through here, now it's not. Guys, this technique is the bee's knees, okay? I don't even know where that phrase came from, but I love it. I'm telling you guys, this is gonna change your game. The cool thing about this, you can do this on long hair as well, okay? Again, you have to go about it in a little bit more not so aggressive, but again, you can do that. I love it. I absolutely love it, you know, and I really hope you guys do as well. You know, again, I just wanna thank you guys for tuning in, checking out my channel. Seriously, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I'm here for the long haul. I wanna make it so you have better hair on yourself, better hair on your clients if you're a professional, or if you're just here, just kinda hanging out, checking it out. I really, really appreciate that, guys. All the tools that I used are gonna be linked below. Go ahead and check those out. I really don't feel like I need to finish this off at all because again, it's the bee's knees, the bee's knees. Guys, thanks for hanging out. It's been good to do this. I'll see you guys in the next video.